I watched a testimony of a woman speak about, spoke about her past. I watched a testimony about someone giving their testimony. And it was very encouraging. I think that woman was married twice. And I am not married now. Or should I say I have never been married? Anyways, I think she is divorced now, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyways, she spoke about her first marriage. And I believe things were, I guess, really bad. And... I guess she got into got in contact with another person and I guess things were going really well by their contact so I guess she thought that it would be a good idea to be with the second person so after a while she divorced the first man and married the second man so at first i guess things were okay but after a while i believe things went south went bad and yes i am not telling you all the details, but what really encouraged me about that, I think much of the time, some people or we in general, we may be in a bad situation with someone now. And we may think if we break up with this person, if we divorce this person, things will be better if we get with another person. But things may get worse. So in cases as these, I think some of the best things to do is to pray fast maybe pray about what is going on in your relationship um try your best to stay away from sin of course you know come to god more about what is happening in your marriage and or relationship or I should say don't see I think let me say this I think much of the time we may believe that the whole problem is the other person do you understand what I am saying? But I think some of the time we may be the problem or part of it. Maybe God wants you to be with that person. Maybe to fix an issue with you or maybe make you better in patience or long suffering or charity or whatever else maybe there is an issue with you do you understand what i am saying so if you are with someone married and if you are speaking to another person and it seems to, you know, that person may seem like the best option. Wait a minute. Stop. Pause. 
Because if you divorce the one you are with, you may get with a person that is worse or just as bad, or you could be the problem. Maybe it is you. So what that woman, that woman's testimony was really, really encouraging. Very, very encouraging. I think in any relationship and or marriage, everything is not going to be perfect. I think there are going to be problems. Now, if that person is beating you up and cutting you and doing things to endanger your life, yes, you may have to leave that person alone. Safety first, right? But in most situations, I say, I would think that one of the best things to do is to wait, pray about it fast, come closer to God about what is happening. I think so many people give up so easily. You may be the problem. Myself, I know I don't do everything right. So it would be silly for me to think I am all the way perfect. Yes, I may do many things right, but I don't do everything right. So how can I blame everything on someone? Let me look at myself, pray to God about it as well. What am I doing wrong? What am I saying wrong? How am I thinking? Is my thinking okay? Am I passing my past pain to this person that haven't done anything wrong to me? So let's say I get abused by my dad. Am I passing my pain from my dad to another person acting as if that person is doing me wrong. Please listen. Let me stop here. God bless you.